Ariana Grande and Travis Scott give heartbreaking tributes to Mac Miller. Post Malone is slammed by the Washington Post. Plus, Takeoff proves he's the best Migo in his first solo album. Hey guys, it's Lisa B for Hollywood Life, and if you're anything like me, Post Malone has probably already taken over your eardrums. Well, now he's after your feet. What? Not in a foot fetish way or the normal rapper with a sneaker line way either. Posty teamed up with Crocs to release a custom line of the clogs, and within minutes, they were completely sold out. But not to worry, there's still hope. Post hinted at the future releases of the Crocs, and I may or may not be frantically checking my phone for updates on the next drop. Don't judge me, I'm Team Cozy. And for more on Post, the rapper was completely torn apart in a review of his inaugural Posty Fest that was held in Dallas. A Washington Post writer called him, quote, greasy disregarded barbecue rapper and a fake pale king sitting on a tinfoil throne. The article went on to say, quote, Post Malone's music is dead-eyed and ignorant, astonishingly dull in materialism, an abandoned lot of creativity with absolutely no evidence in traffic in his cerebral cortex. I mean, who even thinks of these adjectives? He also brought race into the mix and said if Post Malone were black, he wouldn't even exist. The article quickly made its way to the Hip Hop Head subreddit where it gathered over 900 comments in less than 24 hours. One Reddit user called the article the hardest diss track of the year, but they say there's no such thing as bad publicity, right? Correct! Anyway, speaking of criticism, Takeoff's album has officially landed. Oh, okay, I see what you did there. The Migo is making a lot of people realize he's actually the group's sharpest lyricist. Fans on Twitter have been saying Takeoff's solo album is better than Culture 2 and Quavo's solo album, so it's your turn all set. Let's see what you got. But okay, Takeoff isn't the only project making waves today. Mega producer Metro Booming also dropped an album. And if Travis Scott is your guy, then this might be the perfect album for you because he's featured in it a lot. And speaking of the Houston rapper, Travis recently shared a really heartfelt message with everyone at the Mac Miller A Celebration of Life concert. We all know Mac is watching over us. He's gonna keep us safe through this world. Um, I just want everybody to just stay strong. If you have a friend with you, just always tell them you love them. Always give your mom a kiss. Always give your dad a, a hug. No matter if you're mad at somebody, the next day just check on them, it don't matter. Everybody is somebody. We all want, no matter the skin color, the hair, if you're a rapper, basketball player, Wow, well said, Travis. Such an incredible moment. The night was also filled with other touching moments, but it was the unreleased piano video from Mac Miller himself that really got me in tears. Now, Mac's ex, Ariana Grande, wasn't physically at the concert. However, she did honor the rapper on Instagram. She posted a picture of herself with his dog and wore his sweatshirt. But all right, guys, hit the subscribe, like, and bell button, and let us know who your favorite Migos is in the comments below. Bye, guys.